White Page International and CNN News 18 present 100 Most Admired Brands and Inspirational Leaders. Welcome back to our special White Page International and CNN News 18 present 100 Most Admired Brands and Inspirational Leaders. Time now to introduce you to Tata Realty. Tata Housing has established itself as one of the key players in the Indian real estate industry since 2006, with the primary business being development of properties in residential, commercial and retail sectors. The company's operations span across various aspects of real estate development, such as land identification and acquisition, project planning, marketing and sales, project property services and estate management. I have with me Mr. Sanjay Dutt, MD and CEO of Tata Realty and Infrastructure Limited. Mr. Dutt, with over 26 years of experience in the real estate sector, has successfully led the growth of real estate development and asset management business of the company. Welcome to the show, Mr. Dutt. 2020 has been an interesting year. In spite of the lockdown, the residential sector bounced back faster than expected with the help of uh, state and central government, uh, some financial waivers and policies. Take us through what it was like for you. The collective efforts of the government, the corporates and the individuals uh, who took up the challenge and started to battle it out that really worked. And the same was reflected in the real estate sector. Initially, there was absolute uh, stop, full stop of sales and commitments and decisions. But eventually, when we saw the recovery and people realized the magnitude of the problem and how to deal with that problem, we saw the bounce back. The first half of 2020 was uh, a bit of a setback. And the second half, we saw a recovery. Uh, but overall, uh, one would say if, if that has taught all of us a lesson is the business should have the resilience to absorb certain setbacks, which we forgot about it to build into our business. And then, of course, the wellness, uh, which, uh, you know, somehow took a backseat while we were talking about work-life balance, where in real sense, we were not paying attention to it. And I think that also returns. So in the end, I would say whatever happens, happens for good. And there are some lessons for us to be learned from it. And I think it will pay a lot going forward with these lessons that we've learned recently. What are your some of the upcoming plans and projects? And uh, while you are uh, talking about them, do tell us about the green development and environment friendly aspects of them. We have roughly 20 projects ongoing of which 17 are residential, three are commercial. We have lined up uh, approximately five projects in Mumbai and Bangalore and some other parts of the country. Uh, it's a mix of commercial and residential. Our immediate plans are to grow our commercial office portfolio, where we have currently seven and a half million square feet of income generating assets and roughly about two to three million square feet under construction and about three million to go under construction very soon. We've also planning to raise some capital to add to this growth and grow the commercial portfolio. Uh, our short to medium term plans are to do a REIT. All our buildings, whether residential, whether affordable or premier or indeed commercial are green, platinum or gold uh, rated buildings, which means they're energy efficient buildings. We've also gone a step further and now we have got and we are among the first few developers to get wellness certification of our buildings uh, across the country. We use MERV 14 filters in our Ramanujam and Talion Park, which ensures that you have much better indoor air quality. And we made sure that our investment in green horticulture landscaping somehow gives you a better air quality environment and also pollution free to some extent when you compare to the outside pollution and also much greener. Uh, there are elements of wellness in the form of gyms and facilities built for the people inside. What we have now taken to the next level is, uh, you know, ensure that we provide touchless experience. 
uh, there are some new technologies that are coming in which will make our buildings more sustainable uh, let's take an example again ramanujam and telvan park chennai uh, nearly 80% of our power consumption is through green energy and from individual uh, district cooling uh, is what we have now rolled out will bring out savings worth nearly 10 to 15% in our energy cost what would you say differentiates tata realty and infrastructure as a brand from other players in the market tatas we were always uh, following a very high governance transparency and commitment to the promise that we made to our customers our tenants occupying commercial buildings or shopping centers i think what tata stands for is that you can have that trust in what uh, you sign up for with the organization constant embracing and investment in technology tools and and good uh, energy efficient technologies to ensure that we give an environment of building high productive environment for the people who live in these properties and 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 a wellness approach to these properties some of these are the aspects uh, that we think are important and that that's what differentiates tata from the rest well tata realty has been acknowledged as india's most admired brands for 2021 in the real estate industry how has the journey been so far it's been an incredible journey for us last 35 years we have seen five property cycles in india we've seen uh, consolidation to expansion to growth and speculation i think the industry overall has matured and the lessons learned uh, the path ahead has far more clarity as a business the governance and the discipline that the real estate development business demands today will ensure that only organization with strong capability and skills and top real estate talent uh, with very high degree of commitment to integrity values and promise to the customer and not just customer centricity but customer obsession to service the customer to the fullest that kind of approach will actually help organization like tata housing and tata realty infrastructure limited uh, to grow going forward and that's what we are aiming for and we hope to constantly reinvent ourselves to adapt to the changing needs of the customers well i wish you all the very best for all your upcoming projects thank you so much for chatting with us time now for a break you are watching our special series on 100 most admired brands and inspirational leaders White Page International and CNN News 18 present 100 Most Admired Brands and Inspirational Leaders.